So, und damit ein herzliches Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Vampyre. Ich habe mir jetzt mal ein Video angeguckt. Und das scheint irgendeine Art von Fehler zu sein. Vielleicht ein Bug. Also scheint aber ein... Ja, scheint aber normal zu sein, der Bug. Ich will ein bisschen langsamer. Ja, ja. Ey. Was bist du? So, das da. Wieso habe ich das nicht gesehen? Ich dachte wahrscheinlich, das ist einfach der Park, aber... Das ist das Haus. Hier nochmal auf der Karte. Das ist das Anwesen. Warum das hier angezeigt wird, keine Ahnung. Die Frage ist jetzt, kommen wir da rein? Ja. Gut, man hätte, hätte es finden können. Aber du gehst ja erstmal davon aus, dass, dass, dass der Questmarker dir sagt, wo du hin sollst. Äh, aus irgendeinem Grund ging das nicht. mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Boah, das finde ich cool. Ein Brunnen im Haus. Boah. Ich werde ihn nicht zum Abkommen machen. Ich bezweifle, dass er mich umstimmen kann. Erstmal ganz blöde voll beklauen. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? 
Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed <laughs> authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Ich will dich sowas von töten. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Die Zeichen stehen auf Tod. Erster Schlüssel, zweiter Schlüssel. Was singen diese Stimmen eigentlich immer? Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, ne, lass mal hier noch gucken. Ja. 
Ja, soll er leiden. Das Interessante ist, eigentlich hatte ich vor auch wieder, also diesmal ein, ja doch eher so ein bisschen die böse Schiene zu fahren, aber ich kann einfach nicht aus meiner Haut. Ich bin so dieser, kann man Anti-Held sagen? Ich finde, das klingt zwar ein bisschen komisch, aber naja. Hinrichtung des John Francis Barrow. John Francis Barrow, 21, wurde heute Morgen in der Haftanstalt von Pendleville gehängt. Mr. Sparrow wurde zum Tode verurteilt, nachdem man ihn des Mordes an seiner Schwester Alexandra Sparrow für schuldig befunden hatte. Bis zum Schluss beharrte der Mann auf seine Unschuld. Vor Gericht wurde nicht ein einziger formeller Beweis für seine Anwesenheit am Tatort vorgelegt. Aber er wurde trotzdem zum Tode verurteilt und hingerichtet. Scotland Yard weigerte sich, den Fall neu aufzurollen, trotz vieler Lücken im Ab Lauf der Ereignisse, die letztendlich zu Miss Barrows Tod führten. Charles Albright, der die Untersuchung von Scotland Yard durchführte, wollte keine unserer Fragen beantworten, aber vor drei Wochen wurde er ohne offizielle Begründung degradiert. Welch seltsame Art, eine effiziente Untersuchung zu belohnen, Clayton Darby. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. Das können wir ihn fragen. Oh, scheiße. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? I could not let such a dangerous man become immortal. Not from my blood, not for you. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to... uns gegen die entschieden. Ich denke aber, das ist schon das Richtige. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. 
How did you meet Lady Asprey? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste. So be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well, and he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls, and of so many other forgotten children. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Um, nähern wir uns langsam dem Ende. Oh man, so viel noch zu tun. Kinder Whitechapel muss ich sowieso, deswegen können wir erstmal hier gucken. war dahin. Ihr 
jetzt sollten wir auf jeden Fall stark genug sein, um ihn zu besiegen. Oh, kommt sie gerade nach oben? Dann kann ich ja mal mit ihr reden. Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Is it true you often hurt yourself, Carol? Yes, it's true. I try to behave. I really do. But one way or another, I always end up injured or wounded. I'm so stupid. Why would you be stupid? It's like I can't help getting under my mother's feet. That's how I end up being pushed, cut, or, or burned. You see, I'm a stupid girl, really. When exactly do these accidents happen? Ever since I was little. That's why I need to stay with Mum. I'm not capable of taking care of myself. Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh, yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Do you ever think about getting married, now you're a woman? Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicote used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this Camellia may be. <laughs> Die Frage stellt sich so ziemlich jeder. Goodbye, Carol. Dr. Reed, I am glad. To it's be locked, here. all right. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. You are responsible for your daughter's many injuries and scars, Carolyn. You brutalize her, don't you? How could I abuse my own flesh and blood? This is nonsense. It would be like hurting myself. You really believe you've done nothing wrong, don't you? How long has this been going on for? I should have seen it when you were my patients. Seen what? Child abuse? Are you mad, Dr. Reed? I dedicated my whole life to my precious Carol. She is a part of me. Yes. 
Even her name is just a part of yours. This is a terrible tragedy. Something of an unknown disorder. My God. Abuse that comes from overwhelming love. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How dare you say something like that? What kind of a monster do you think I am? Eins, was ich erledigen muss. Speak to me, Carolyn. Why do you behave like this? How does it make you feel to hurt Carol before cajoling her? I... I don't know. It makes me feel good to take care of my daughter. I need to feel useful. No one ever takes care of me. I need someone to take care of me. Do you realize Carol is a person? Not a toy. Not a doll. The poor girl would put her hand in a flame to please you. You are both trapped in this toxic relationship. Carol and I are perfectly happy. Leave us be. How stupid I was to believe you could be a suitable husband. If no one stops you, you will kill her. You will keep on torturing her out of smothering love until she breaks or you hurt her too much. How dare you? I carried Carol inside of me for nine months. You men can't understand the bond between a mother and her child. I could kill for her. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. Miss Price gibt es nicht. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Okay. Es muss sein. Sie gehört zu dem Bösen. Wenn auch eher, weil sie krank ist, aber... Cry for me now. Good evening, sir. Don't worry, don't worry. This klingt so. I think they say that sogar. Meine Kon ja, Konsequenzen. Oh, ich sehe gerade, wir müssen die Folge wenden. Ui, 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 ui. Ähm, ja, dann <lacht> nach dem kleinen Snack verabschiede ich mich für diese Folge und ich hoffe, ihr seid morgen wieder dabei. Bis dahin. <lacht>